We begin with breaking news tonight from the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Hannah slamming into the Texas shore, winds of 90 miles an hour. The first hurricane of the season in the Atlantic, striking south of Corpus Christi. Strong winds and flooding rains, storm surge across more than 100 miles of the Texas coastline. In Port Mansfield, Texas, the wind ripping buildings apart. You see it right there. And take a look at the radar, the dangerous eye wall moving inland at this hour. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano is right there. He leads us off in Armstrong, Texas tonight near the eye of the storm. Rob, good evening. Hi, Tom. We were afraid this storm would strengthen quickly. It has done just that. Hurricane Hannah now making landfall as a 90 mile per hour category one storm, and we are in the thick of it. The eye of the storm is going to be directly overhead moments to now when it will be completely calm, but right now it is anything but that. Tonight, Hurricane Hannah slamming ashore in South Texas, ripping the roof off this building. The category one storm pounding areas south of Corpus Christi with 90 mile per hour winds, flooding rains, and dangerous storm surge. Thousands without power across the area. This is one of two FEMA domes at the local high school that not only is a storm shelter, but also doubles as a COVID-19 patient overflow. Officials warning residents to stay indoors. We all know how to stay at home now. Well, this is Mother's Na Mother Nature's stay at home order for all of us. The emergency operations center activated. Any hurricane is an enormous challenge. This challenge is complicated and made even more severe, seeing that it is sweeping through an area that is the most challenged area in the state for COVID-19. The Rio Grande Valley, one of the hardest hit portions of the state in this pandemic, now dealing with a hurricane. Even with COVID and social distancing and having to wear masks, you will go get people out of their home. We will go get people. If you don't got a mask, we're going to give you a mask. If you don't got sanitizer, we're going to get you um, um, sanitizer. There's absolutely no reason why anybody should be out there in harm's way. All right, Rob joins us now from there in Armstrong, Texas. And Rob, Hannah has officially now come ashore. It has the first hurricane of the season and it's the first landfall of the season as well. We're not even close to the peak of it. We've had winds gust over 80 miles an hour measured and we still have several more hours to get through. This is a slow moving storm and it's not small, unfortunately. Here's what it looks like on the radar. As you can see, that well-defined eye now lumbering ashore about 30 miles wide. Very thick and intense eye wall, which we're in right now with heavy rain and wind and a lot of uh, flooding rain potentially with this as it heads ashore tonight. It will take its time weakening. It will take a while for that. It will bring flooding rains to the Rio Grande Valley with up to a foot of rain potentially uh, tomorrow. All right, let's get to Douglas. Unfortunately, they have just hoisted hurricane warnings for Oahu now as this storm likely to remain category one status at it as it gets to the islands tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night so all the hazards are included there with flooding rains dangerous surf and flash flooding for the island of oahu tough two days for two states tom tracking two hurricanes in real time rob marciano you and your team stay safe tonight thank you for that Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.